Good day! I am Sarina Alcuño from Lazaro Francisco Integrated School, your teacher presenter for Teleturuan. Today, we will start our discussion in a short story. So kids, be ready and listen well. The title of the story is Marina and her ice candy. It's a sunny day. Marina bought an ice candy. She was happy and very much excited. She went in the garden to eat her ice candy. But suddenly, her mom called her inside the house. Marina left her ice candy in the garden. When she came back, she was shocked and then she cried. What is the story all about? Correct! The short story is all about Marina and her ice candy. Can you predict what kind of temperature is in the story? Very good! The temperature is very, very hot. Did Marina cry in the story? Why? Correct! It's because her ice candy melted. Why do you think the ice candy melted? Wow! Very good, kids! It's because the temperature is very high and some solid materials will change due to temperature. Is there any possible solution to help Marina? How? Yes! That's correct. If she put back her ice candy on a very low temperature, the ice candy will change back to its original form, from liquid to solid. Did you know that heat and temperature can change the state of matter? Yes, it's true. For example, when water in its liquid state changes into gas, its temperature also changes. Water is said to undergo a phase change. Let's have a brief discussion about the phases of matter to clarify why solid turns into liquid and liquid turns into solid due to temperature. Let's start with solidification. Solidification it is the physical change of material from liquid to solid. It happens when heat is removed. Did you know that ice candies and ice cream are originally liquid? Correct kids, they become solid when placed in a freezer. The freezing point of water is 0 degrees Celsius. Water freezes at 0 Celsius. Next, we have melting. Melting is the complete opposite of solidification. It is the change of solid to liquid. It occurs when there is a presence of addition of heat. For example, we put a chunk of butter on a hot cooking pan. What do you think will happen to the butter? Correct! The butter starts to melt. Next, we have evaporation. Evaporation is a process by which a liquid changes into gas. Try to overboil water. What do you think will happen? The water will disappear an indication that it changes to gas. Do you know that gaseous form of water referred to as water vapor? Next, we have condensation. Condensation occurs when heat is removed from water vapor. When this happens, water vapor becomes a liquid water. Example of condensation is the morning dew. It usually happens during early morning. When we observe the morning dew, falling from the leaves of plants because it is cold in the early morning. The water vapor released by the plants condenses and changes to liquid water, the one we call morning dew. Next, we have sublimation. And then we have sublimation. These are the solid substances that are changed directly to gas without passing to liquid state. Example is the dry ice. Likewise, a gas can also transform into solid without passing a liquid phase in a process that's called deposition. Example of that is the snow forms in clouds as well as frost on the ground are some of its examples. I'm going to show you a short video. Please take note the different changes in properties of the material when we apply heat.
Let's answer the following questions. What happened to the material when it was put over the plane? The material changes from solid to liquid. It melts. When the material was heated, what can you say about its temperature? When the material is heated, automatically, we expect that the temperature increase. Why did the material change its form? Correct, because it is heated. It absorbs heat. When you remove the material from the flame, what happened to the material? Very good! The material cooled down and the liquid will turn into solid. When the material was cooled, what can you say about its temperature? Correct! When the material is cooled, its temperature automatically we expect to decrease. What then can you say about the temperature of the material when it is heated or cooled? When the material is heated, its temperature increases, but when the material is cooled, its temperature decreases. Okay, remember this kids, when the materials are heated, they change their size, shape, and texture. They also change their forms. When heated, the solid materials are changed to liquid. When cooled, the liquid materials are changed to solid. Thank you for your active participation. I hope you have learned a lot. See you next time and goodbye!